I currently teach Jeet Kune Do concepts as uh, taught by Guru Dan in Asanto and Filipino martial arts also as taught by Guru Dan. Catch. Okay. In order to know Jeet Kune Do, you really first have to know Jun Fan Gong Fu, which is the, the, uh, the roots of it, the, the roots of the tree. Truthfully, the origins, obviously, everyone knows, uh, was originated by Sifu Bruce Lee. It was passed down uh, to his student, Guru Dan in Asanto, and from there it's gone many different directions. Many students have taken that art, added their own uh, twist to it, their own flavor. And I started training Jeet Kune Do back in the late 90s. I mean, before then I had studied other systems, Wing Chun, Kung Fu, Karate was actually my base system. Okinawa and Karate, and I've also studied Aikido and Capoeira and all these other exotic systems. Jeet Kune Do really came to me as a really functional, real-world uh, power. What keeps you motivated to keep learning and teaching and training? Uh, Just the love of the arts. I mean, the one thing that you really have to have if you're going to stay a long time in the martial arts or anything in reality anything anything that you do in life to stay in it a long time you have to have a love for it and that means you have to have an understanding of uh, what it can give to you once you once you have a uh, understanding of what it can add to your life what it can give to you uh, how you can grow within it you're going to want to stay uh, in that a long time and it doesn't even matter if it's martial arts it could be painting it could be writing whatever it is that you have a passion for you have to have that love for it yeah again I, I emphasize you have to have an understanding of what it can add to your life because if it's not adding anything to your life then you know it's not worth your time and uh, martial arts have been an integral part of my life since uh, I could walk